Hello YouTube and today we're going to be checking out the 75 Quar, which is basically just a pickup truck. Okay, and there's a uh, race engine, off-road engine, lift, double lift. I think I'll put a double lift on it. Tires, not a lot of tire options for this. This truck's been on here for a while. I think battery power? Whims, uh, no whims. Paint? Uh, it's pretty, pretty low on, you know, customizations that you can put on here. Customizations are limited, unfortunately, for this truck. What would this truck look good in? Uh... I think, uh, I think I'll go for, uh, the blue. The blue would look good. Bobblehead. I'll put the cheater on, mod on here. And there we go. Generic horn. Good headlights. Interior. Uh, kind of ugly. Engine fires up, sounds good. Reverse lights, brake lights, check. So it has a nice sounding engine, I'll give it that. You can tow a trailer on the back. Looks good. Looks like a good truck. Try mud. Try driving this thing through deep mud. Uh, would it make it through deep mud? No, definitely not. This mud is way too deep for it. Okay, let's back out of here if I can get out of here. So level force mud is definitely a no for this truck. It'll take all day just to get through, through it. Let's try a level two. So level 2 mud is definitely what you want to stick with. Level 3 and 4 is going to be a problem for this. Alright, so the mud is definitely un, uh, limited, so it, c it can handle only a limited amount of mud. So level 4 mud is you have to be careful with. Deep water. Okay, so even though it's still, it doesn't have a snorkel option, it makes it through that like it's nothing. That's interesting. Let's try a suspension test on this thing. Pop it in low gear and just see how it handles. Alright, the suspension's got some good flex to it.
Hmm. All right. Just that small area it did pretty well. Let's move over here to the walks. All right. So this thing actually handles the walk, this walk area, pretty well. So it's a, it's definitely a walk crawler. Or we're getting to the harder section. Okay, it's getting harder. It's doing pretty well. It's got some good flex. You can hear the suspension sound effects, you know, the suspension going, you know, bending noises. All right, it's getting a little bit harder now. So this section's begin, giving this truck a bit of a challenge. And there we go. It did pretty well, actually. So suspension flex is definitely a A+. It can, it can handle, you know, a good amount of flex. Let's see the bend test. Pop it in the low gear and just see how this thing handles. Okay, she's getting a little squirry on here. Alright, so it's the angle on this thing can handle pretty pretty good. Okay, it's getting a little trickier to keep it on here. I'm trying to struggle to keep it on. Oh, whoops. I wasn't planning that to happen. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out of here. My suspension's definitely stuck. Oh uh, yeah, I got a stuck suspension on here. Can I drive out here? Nope. Yeah, it is stuck. I'm gonna have to... There we go. So yeah, yeah, it did pretty well. On the suspension, so the suspension is definitely a good thing for this. Next test. Can you put cargo in the back of this? I wonder. Nope, you can't. Ooh. My bad. Didn't pay attention there. You know, all things considered, you know, this is actually a good truck for hard, uh, queer mode in the Michigan map. If you want to do Michigan map, you know, with a tr certain truck, this is a good truck for it. 
And let me see how strong this truck is. Let's see if I can pull a train. Even though this is not exactly, you know, supposed to be pulling a train. Because it's a scout vehicle, but let's see if I can. Just out of curiosity. Some scouts can pull trains. Come on. Low gear? Nope. It's not moving an inch. Okay, it moved a tiny bit. I saw it. I saw it there. Move a tiny bit. So yeah, it it can pull a train a tiny bit. I saw the train move a tiny bit when I yanked it. Let me try this one. On mud, muddy area. If I can find a winch point to it. Okay, it moved. That one, that time I saw the train move. Nope. Yeah, it can pull a train, but, you know, only a, you know, an inch. You know, the train did move, so it does count. You know, it did pull it a tiny bit. So, kind of, you know, a limited amount can pull a train somewhat because I saw the train move so you know that counts you know what it's actually not a bad truck actually let's drive let's pull out of here suspension's good uh Strength is good. You know, it's a seems like a pretty good truck. I would definitely say if you want to use this for queer mode, I would use it on an easy map like, say, Michigan or or maybe Alaska, if that's possible. I wouldn't recommend using this on a you know a very challenging map. So definitely an easy map on queer mode. You would use this for that wasting map. Uh, the Tennessee Wasting Map, this would be perfect for that. But what would I rate this truck at? I would definitely say it's, a, you know, probably a B or A plus. I'm not really sure. It's definitely a good, you know, and looks, I mean, it looks good. I mean, I'll give it an A on that. It's a good looking truck. It's performance overall rating, I would probably say I wish it had more options for customizations, because that's a kind of a negative on me, you know, negative customizations, but you know, just stock as it is, it's pretty good. I got, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, alright, just from this course alone, I would give this truck an A+. Plus. It's handling, it handles pretty well. I'm amazed. Okay, I would say this truck's an A plus for me. Definitely a good scout vehicle for career mode. I mean, if you're doing a simple map like Michigan or Alaska, I would say this is a good truck for that. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, an A plus for me. Definitely a good truck. The looks on the other hand, you know, interior, it's kind of a C, you know, because it, the interior is just disgusting looking, it's not exactly good looking at all. I would definitely say this truck's, you know, overall a good, good looking truck. Yeah, I like it. I actually do like this truck. It's 
suspension's taken quite a beating, but it's, you know, holding up. Oop, lost control there. Mud on the other hand, I don't think this truck can handle deep mud all that well. So I would definitely suggest staying away from anywhere that has deep, deep mud. Because this truck would not make it through it. I'm taking a bit of a shortcut to save on time. You guys probably know where I'm heading. Alright, I had to winch because this truck got stuck in this deep mud. So this area is definitely a weakness for this truck. There we go. Okay, can it climb a hill? Let's see if it can climb hills. See if it can make up the hill. Come on, you almost made it to the top. Shift up, come on. There we go. It made it. It made it to the top of the hill. Now we're going downhill. You know what, this is actually a good truck. I would say this is an A+. Definitely a good truck. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.